I hope you can see me okay. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Starting off in the car. <laughs> Not the best of place to start, I guess, but it just happens. I think, yeah, I'm going to vlog that. And there we go, there's the start. Um, I'm just on my way to Tesco's to get a prescription for a water infection that I've had for ages and ages. Um, the doctors, I've just joined the doctors down here. Uh, I tried to hang on to my London doctor as long as possible. And uh, well, they cottoned on, so I had to move doctors. And the new doctors, although they, they seem quite good, they just can't get my medications right and it's really proving to be a problem. I can't get in to see a doctor. I've only, I think in six months I've only managed to speak to a doctor once and I'm not very impressed. And they keep giving me medication that I can't have with my allergies. So I'll take a water sample in and I'll say, or oh, you have to leave it at the letterbox. Um, and they'll phone me and they'll say you need antibiotics for that and I'll say well it's on my notes that I can only have certain ones I can't have any colored tablets um, and I can't have penicillin either so nearly every time I've got a prescription they've ended up being colored tablets and it just goes on and on and on I've actually even had my phone in Tesco's so the doctor is talking with the um, pharmacist regarding my medications. But last week they got it right and I feel so much better. But it's not quite gone so I asked for a repeat just for a few days extra of that antibiotic. And lo and behold I got a completely different antibiotic that I couldn't take so I've now missed a day and I'm on my way back to Tesco's to get another prescription that I had to learn about this morning boring stuff I know not <laughs> not the best way to start a weekly vlog but hey ho but also I thought this morning I'd go down to the range uh, which is right by our local Tesco's because I really like that faux flower mixed with the real flower in the vlog last week and it's lasted so well and it's looked lovely and I thought I'm gonna get some more different faux leaves to mix in with any flowers that I buy so that is my plan I might even treat Bug to a new toy if they've got anything decent in there it has to be decent because it doesn't last her five minutes and it's a waste of money. But um, I will have a look. There's also a vase. My cousin bought a vase in there a couple of weeks ago and it's beautiful. And uh, as soon as I see it, I said, oh, I like that. I am a huge lover of glass, anything glass. Um, and I really liked it. So I'm gonna have a look at that as well. And that's it. So I'm nearly there, so I'm gonna cut off now and uh, I'll take you in the range with me and we'll have a little look round. See if I can find the girls something. Let's have a little chew on. Haha, -ha, toys. Right. She would most probably like that, but she'll just eat it. She chews everything so quickly. That would break. Another treat ball. Oh, a Kong ball. Let's 
interesting. Mighty Mutts. Tough dog toys. Well, I might have to get one of them. Four pounds, not bad. Other than that, it's just all bones and... I have to get some chuzzle something nice. I think the girls would love one of these cushions each. They're quite big as well. That would make good dog beds. Especially this colour, it's really nice. I don't think I'll ever stop them from getting on the sofa, mind. I wonder if they're washable. £30, that's cheaper than any dog bed anyway. They cost me a fortune. I can't feel how to get that off. Do not wash, do not tumble dry. Well, there's the answer to that. What a shame. Well, I can't find that glass vase that I wanted. That's a shame. Ah, I found it, there it is. She must have had a special light on hers because the crackle's just not standing out as much here. Very tempted. Let's go and find the foliage first. Yay, I have foliage. We'll have a play with that later. Well, that wasn't too bad. So quiet. I mean, I know it's Monday, but the kids are off of school. Took me ages to queue up and get my prescription, but the range was super quiet. So at least I managed to get some foliage. So I'm gonna try and collect that from now on in different places and uh, I can make so much more out of normal flowers then it's just I don't know why I've never thought of doing that before I'm gonna head back now and have some lunch I might even get out in the garden if it doesn't rain, the weather here has been awful. Rained and rained and rained constantly. And my garden is desperate for a little bit of a makeover. But you just can't get out in it. We want to clear our shed out as well. And give that a good going over. But it's just been too wet to do it. Anyway, see you when I get back. Morning. I thought I'd share a morning cleanse routine with you. I've been meaning to uh, share this Emma Hardy cleanser for some time because I absolutely love it. It smells. I wish you could smell. There should be scratch and sniff, shouldn't there? It is beautiful. But anyway, I've been dying to show you how that works. So I thought we'd do that this morning. I've cut all my nails off, taken the uh, gel polish off. I tinted my hair yesterday. So today I'm going to paint my nails. I'll most probably tan as well because that's long overdue. Yes, that's the start of my day. So, this is what it looks like inside. You need a small amount. That's about what I use. And you rub that in the palm of your hand and it's really oily. It smells quite lemony. It's beautiful. It's, uh, 
it feels special, this on your face, it just feels nice. Can you see the oil? It's very oily. And I just massage that in. My face is quite tan because every morning I'm using the uh, Sandra Pay Purity Mist, which I absolutely love as well. It makes me feel so much better having a little bit of colour. Anyway, so that's that. So you'll see it looks really oily. Now I'm going to turn the tap on so it's going to be a little bit noisy. But you'll see as soon as the water hits this, as soon as the water hits this cleanser, it just turns into a milky cleanser and all the oil will disappear. And it, it's lovely, the face feels amazing after. Right, it's foliated last night, so I'm just giving a good rub. Put some water on the palm of my hand, but you can see that's going milky. I've locked an air at work, actually. Very good. You do actually get a cloth with the Emma Hardy cleanser as well. Mine's most probably in the wash. to make sure it's not tacky yeah that is one lovely cleanser don't know if you remember it was on one of the new in beauty hauls some time ago and I've literally not stopped using it and I don't think I've even used half yet but it's I totally recommend it makes your skin feel lovely right after that I can't remember what this is called it's an arc Hydrating serum, it's nearly empty. I try and remember to use a hydrating serum every morning, especially in the summer. Well, and the winter, really. I mean, in the winter, it's just in, as important because we've got the heating on. But we need that, just that little bit extra to plump us up, don't we, at our age? I think I do anyway. So I'm just going to wait a minute for that to sink in. It's not nice out today, it's just been raining. We're, we're in August and it's raining. I actually feel like I could put a jumper on today. Our summer has been unreal this year. What summer there has been, it's not been good at all. Right, that's nearly gone. And then I'm using the Alpha H. Alpha H SPF 50. And regarding of it not being sunny today, I've used this all the time just for the extra protection. It might not be sunny, but those rays are out there. And I've really been impressed with this. It looks a little bit white, but it's, it's not. When uh, it does go on your skin, And it's not too tacky, if you like. It's not gloopy, it sinks in quite easy. And then of course, every morning and every night, the Elizabeth Alden 8 hour cream on my lips. Trying to keep those lip lines at bay. Done. And just a little bit of the, uh, this is Colt 51 Eye Repair. This must be nearly coming to the end, but I really enjoyed the Colt 
51 uh, system moisturizers that they sent me they're really nice and as soon as the summer's over I will go back to using those most probably but the eye repairs are really good I swear it's helping with the crepiness yes right and now finally I must give you a little tour of this bathroom I've never done it I keep meaning to do a mini home tour to show you around I must do it at some point um, yeah, so this is the Purity Face Mist. This has been a game changer for me. I, I will never be without this now. I, I just love having this bit of colour. I mean, I know I don't look great at the moment, but I know I look better than I normally do, with, even without makeup. I need to do my hair, paint my nails. No, I've just tinted my hair yesterday and I've not even curled it yet. I just dried it and left it. So I'm going to go and grab a coffee and then we'll do that. Right, nails are all done. It's definitely my favourite colour and I did have a bit of a boob. Um, these gel varnishes, they really make your nails so much stronger and my nails were getting longer and longer and I thought, wow, they've never been so long. And I was going to cut them and I thought, no, one more go. They look lovely and long. They're going to look lovely in pictures. And what happened? Two broke. So I've had to cut them all down. Lesson learned. I won't be doing that again. I've just, uh, I'm just getting ready. I'm right in the process of doing some photos for a campaign that I spoke about on here some time ago. Um, let's grab that. And if you can hear, if you can hear the munching in the background, it's Bo chewing on a, what have you got? It's a filled hoof. I've never had hoofs before, but she's loving it. And it keeps her from under my feet. So I can just crack on with what I need to do. So <laughs> it's just a little bit noisy, so I'm sorry about that. Yes, uh, Natucane. Now, I spoke about this some time ago in uh, a new in beauty haul. And it is a paid for campaign. I've not been asked to mention it on here, but I'm just writing up a blog post. That's the paid campaign. Um, and I didn't think it was going to happen because I've used it every morning and every night, like it said, and nothing happened. Nothing happened. And I think about eight weeks went by and the PR got in touch with me and I said, nothing's happening. I can't post about it something that's not happening and they said oh give it a little bit more time which I did and I got bum fluff hair it did start to grow and it still is growing and it's this is my main concern around here it's very hard to pick out the short bits it's about an inch long now um, it came through like a baby hair that's what it does it helps it helps with regrowth when when my mum died um i got a big ball patch here it got so bad i had to change my part in and it's never really grown back properly you can still see it quite fine in there but this has actually helped and uh, I'll leave the link below so you can have a little read up on this natural pain. So I wasn't going to post about it, but it started happening. So I thought, okay, then I will post about it. Um, it's very fine. The hairs are about an inch long now, what I've got. 
I just about pick them out sometimes. It's not a mess of hair that's grown, but it's noticeable. And I'm definitely finding this side a lot easier. I used to have to really tease it into place and lots of hairspray to keep it in place so that it looked okay for photos. Um, but it's coming along nicely, so I'm now pleased and I'm going to post about it today. So that's what I'm getting ready to do photos for. I've already done a couple of the back of my hair and now I'm just going to do the front. I still haven't tanned yet. I most probably won't get the new in haul filmed until tomorrow. But I do also have a couple of deliveries so I might run through those with you. One of them I've not unwrapped. One of them is absolutely amazing. I'm over the moon. It's a new brand that have sent me some beautiful pieces. It's not paid for. It's, they're just sending me a couple to try and I am over the moon with them. Yeah, so I'll do a little bit of an unboxing. I'm just putting on my usual Kodak eyeshadow. This is actually the highlighter kit. Still wading through that light colour that I use all over. I like to have that little bit of blush in my creases there. It makes a big difference. Um, mascara, where did I put my mascara? The Studio 10 mascara that I raved about in that Studio 10 post. This is brilliant for sparse eyelashes. You've got a nice comb to use at the beginning. And then the other end that, that really gives you the volume. been really pleased with this one. It's going to need a replacement soon. It's nearly all gone. Have you stopped chomping? I've got on the, the Dior Forever Today Skin Glow. And it works perfectly with the uh, Saint Tropez Purity Mist. I don't know, that Purity Mist, it gives me a nice colour, but I feel like it gives me a more even tone as well. Very pleased with that. Always have to do that little bit extra for these photos. The older you get, the harder it is. This is the uh, I've just bought this Revolution Pro Conceal and Hydrate. I don't know if you remember, I'd run these yonks ago and I used it until it was finished. It's a brilliant concealer. A, budget as well I think it was seven pounds can't grumble at that right, a little bit of bronze I'll do these photos and we'll go through the uh, unboxing That's another thing I've been really pleased with. I've got nothing on my eyebrows at all. It's um, an eyebrow serum that I've been using called Lybrow. I've been using it for a few months now. 
and I only use it once a week now as well because I actually had to start plucking my eyebrows they got that thick now I don't need anything unless it's really dramatic, you know. For a night out I'll put something on. A little bit of mascara. So you've got on this end the comb. Don't know if you can see that. It's like a fine comb. And then on this end you've got the... It's a weird shaped brush, it's flat but it's a brush as well. Get that bloopy bit off of there. Now I've got it all over my hands. <laughs> oh dear. Are any of you bloggers or bloggers that are watching today, let me know in the comments and leave your links. And I'll pop over and see you as well. Is that focusing okay? I'm going to have to tongue my hair again I think. It's getting very long. It's going to need a trim soon. Right, lips. Good old Wanderlust. My favourite. All done, ready to take the photos and I'll come back to you after I've done those. Right, a very productive morning that was. Um, I'm just showing you my outfit. Someone messaged me on stories on Instagram and said, Laurie, why aren't you filming any of your outfits lately? I normally do a, what I'm wearing today on there and I haven't done it for a few weeks. I've just been too busy. Um, so I, I just put it out there. It's a very casual look. But yes, yeah, so I thought I'd share it with you. Um, yeah, it's just the blue shirt from H&M. I've worn this shirt so many ways. Out, belted as you know, um, tucked in. And today I'm wearing it just tied up like that. I've got the mum jeans on from H&M. As you know, I'm a little bit wary of these jeans. I think they can make me look a little bit dumpy. And I just want it to be comfortable because I'm picking up the grandchildren in a minute. And I want to be comfortable. I'm going to take them to the shops and get their dinner. And they're going to stay over for the night. So yeah, it's a very casual look today. <laughs> um, the, the sandals, I am loving these sandals. These are from Hotter Shoes. They're Velcro on the front there and on the ankles. Um, very similar, very on trend like the, the dad sandals that everyone's wearing. And they are super super comfortable so I thought I can oh what's that on the bottom a tag <laughs> yeah um super super comfortable they are too my toenails need doing however yeah so that is it it's a very easy look I've got everything tucked under the desk because I've been doing photos, I then filmed the outfit of the day for Instagram 
I've got all this stuff in the background to put away what's been delivered. I think I've shared it with most of you, all those little deliveries. There's um, two deliveries here that I'm going to unwrap with you right now. I'm just going to get this chair sorted out and we'll crack on. Right, done that. We can open now. It's terrible, isn't it? We think about all these things. Oh, that was that was actually really simple. I thought <laughs> I didn't want to mess up the packaging. There's my little doodle. Who doesn't love silk sleepwear? Oh, I'm feeling very spoiled today. Oh wow. Oh, and they've sent me some uh, silk scrunchies as well. <gasps> Oh, look. I've been wanting to collect these for some time. I've got one navy one. Oh, these are beautiful. Look. That colour. Oh, I love them. Well, I am very spoiled today. Look. There's loads. <gasps> Thank you so much, La Loris. Oh, there's more. Oh no, they're eye. Oh well, look at those. Silk eye pads. Oh, it feels absolutely beautiful. And there's a pink one as well. And I think the pyjamas that I've ordered are actually pink. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to look forward to sleeping in there. What does it say on the box? Nice to meet you, Laloris. Let Laloris silk sleepwear spoil your skin from today. You are more than welcome to. And that's the colour I've chosen. So this is going to go lovely, isn't it? And then I can tie my hair up. Look, I am all kitted out. Oh, they feel amazing. This is um, machine washable. The, the main thing about these uh, pyjamas is that they're machine washable. They do not lose their shine. And that's what we need, isn't it? We don't need pyjamas that we've got to wait to get dry cleaned. How beautiful are they? I will be giving these a steam and we'll have a little try on and I'm pretty sure I've got a discount code for you as well so I'll leave that in the description box I don't know if this film will go out before the new in haul or whether it'll be after but I am going to be featuring these in my new in haul I think loungewear is just as important as what you wear out beautiful 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 i am so pleased with all those scrunchies thank you so much laloras let's try one of these on yep that feels beautiful i don't want to get makeup on it love it mess my hair up now right so let's see what's in the next box like i said i think it's skin hair i've run out of a lot of my art products and uh, i use them a lot so that's what these could be I often wonder if you get fed up with these unboxings. Let me know if you do, and I'll just stop doing them. I like sharing with you what I get. Oh, it's tan. Completely different. Tanning in progress. Smells beautiful. 
wondering what that smell is. Yes, this is a new tan. Um, they asked me if I'd like to try it, and it is from. Bronzy, it's called Bronzy. And considering my last name is Bronze, that goes quite well. Everyone used to call my dad Bronzy. <laughs> yes, um, all our tans carry a beautiful scent, luxury skin enhancing properties and produce the same natural beautiful glow. The tan is inclusive to all, working perfectly with every skin type and tone. Well, if it smells anything like this, that is beautiful. We've got a box here as well. So, we'll be having another little glow up. Oh, let nothing stand between you and your perfect tan. The Ultimate Back and Body Tanning Mitt by Bronzy. Marvellous. I think I've spoken about how important these tan mitts are. Back and body tanning mitt. Oh well, wow, that's cool. So you've got the you've got the gloves and then you've got the bit for the back. Can you do it like that? Impressed with that. Very impressed. That's a lot better than the one that I've shown you before. And this is the tan. I'm dying to find out if it actually smells as good as uh, as that box did. This tissue paper smells beautiful. I don't know what that is. Let's have a little. This is a mousse tan, by the way. I'm only going to do a little tiny dab. I'm pretty sure this is. Um, a gradual tan. Mm, it's nice, it smells like daisies, floral. It's nice, it doesn't smell like tan, that's for sure. I'll leave that on and we'll have a look later. Right, so thank you to uh, Bronzy Tan. That's going to be interesting. I'll definitely be sharing with you how that all turns out. So that's it, I'm going to go and get those grandchildren. It's Saturday today, I'm out at Hyde Hall, I think I've bought you here before and I'm currently in the garden where Mum's bench is. This is the modern country garden and it's absolutely beautiful. So I've just come down here to pay respects to mother. This was her favourite garden centre ground to come to and uh, we used to talk about it when uh, she wasn't well about how she was going to come here and tend the gardens so I do feel very close to her when I come here. Look at this white flower, look, it's beautiful. I might have to buy one and take one home. And so I'll turn you round. This is Mum's bench. I'm really loving this white flower. It's really dainty. So you've got the thicker growth there and it just pans up into a little tiny stem. It's beautiful. I don't know what it's called but I'm going to find out.
and this is mum's bench and on there you'll see it says Doreen Bronze forever looking at gardens and I love the thought that she's going to be looking over these gardens and having a good time if you like So what I'm going to do is show you the gardens as we walk through. There's lots and lots of different gardens here <laughs> to uh, walk around. Each part at Hyde Hall is segmented into um, little gardens, all got different names. And like I said, this is called the Modern Country Garden and this is what mum was all about she liked modern flowers and plants I did actually film a whole tour around mum's garden when she would passed away as a memory but I can't, I can't bring myself to edit the film it's tucked away um, and one day I will do it she loved Japanese gardens as well. This is unusual, this grass. It's a huge, huge place and there is just so much to see and as you know I've only got a small garden and <laughs> I want literally hundreds of plants out of this place and I just haven't got the space to put them um, I used to love having a big garden in London it was 120 foot but boy did it take time and work and that is one of the things that I love about my garden now is that it's just so easy to keep. Look at this part, beautiful. It's got my favorite trailing geranium in there that I have at home. Hall 
place that I visited the other day. I didn't stay there much longer. It absolutely chucked it there. We got absolutely drenched. We we went and had a we went and had a cup of tea and uh, then we made our way home because it just didn't stop. It was a shame. Um, I'm thinking about getting one of the RHS season cards because that will give me free entry plus a family member. It cost me twelve pounds just to get in there to see Mum um, and to see the gardens, obviously, but. You know, it works out a lot of money. If two of us goes, that's £24. So I'm seriously thinking about getting an RHS card because it's on special offer at the moment, £50, I think it is, instead of 80 And that will give me access to all the other RHS gardens as well. So it's going to be worth doing, I think. Anyway, here I am, all kitted out in those Lolores pyjamas. I've just been taking pictures actually for Instagram. I've not worn them in bed at all. I don't wear anything in bed but I would certainly be wearing them around the house. They feel absolutely amazing on. I'll pick you up in a minute and I'll show you the full look. I think um, these will be featured in my new in haul anyway but I'm loving the hair ties as well. Actually, don't think I showed you all the colours. As soon as my daughter see these, she said, I want one. And I thought, what great presents these would make as a stocking filler. Because it's not far around the corner, is it, Christmas? So we have a gold. We have this beautiful teal colour. I think apart from the pink, that is my favourite. We have black. We all wear black at some point in the winter, don't we? We have purple. This is the one my daughter's after. We have red. And we have navy. Now I think these are the colours that I'm going to wear the most. They feel lovely on and they don't slip out, so I'm really impressed. And I've got another sleep mask there as well. Really nice. I love it. So don't forget the discount code, it's all in the bottom. Let's pick you up and I'll show you the pyjamas. There you go. So you've got the, still got the headband on. The sleep mask, I've still got the sleep mask on, but yeah, they fit lovely. There's plenty of length in those legs, obviously, because I'm a little shorty, but I think they are beautiful. On they, they feel absolutely amazing. The cut's nice. Look at the shoulders, really, really nice. And I've got a creaky floor that's driving me nuts, actually. I'm going to, oh, look at my hair. <laughs> I'm going to have a bit of a house update soon. But uh, I've got a few things to tell you that are going to be happening. So I'm quite excited. I really need to do... Uh, let's sit you down. Yeah, I really need to do an update, I think, on the, uh, on the home. I've not really shown you around. The garden's not been that great this year because it's just not been nice. I've barely sat out there. Such a shame. I mean I've got a few plants out there that have done really well I think because um, the summer's not been so good. I've got a giant hydrangea out there. It's absolutely amazing. I've been putting that on my Instagram showing the progress of how it how it's grown. Um, yeah, but I've not shown you the bathroom yet. There's going to be bedroom updates. I'll tell you more about it when I know more. Um, the hallway and the landing's been done. The only thing that's not been done now is the uh, front room. Um, but nothing's really finished. The kitchen's not been painted yet and finished. 
I keep putting things off. I've just had enough of people coming in and decorating. and I, I just really needed a break from it. But anyway, I'm going to have to do a little home edit, I think, at some point. Let me know if you'd be interested. But I'm going to round this vlog up here now. So thank you for watching if you've made it this far. I hope it's been interesting this week. Not a lot to tell you really. Um, please give the film a thumbs up. That really helps put me out there. It helps others find me. And I'm really, my growth has really slowed down a little bit this last couple of weeks. So I need to ramp that up a little bit. So if you could help me and press the thumbs up, that would be marvellous. And of course, if you've enjoyed the film, please subscribe. Please subscribe and come on the journey with me. And I'll see you next week.